Think Windows 10 LTSC is your golden ticket when Windows 10 support ends? Think again. Nope. Most people don't realize what LTSC actually is and why it may not be the escape they're hoping for. In this video, we'll break down the top 10 things you need to know about Windows 10 LTSC with real examples and official sources. By the end, you'll know exactly whether LTSC makes sense for you or not. Microsoft's Long-Term Servicing Channel, or LTSC, often makes headlines because some editions show support dates stretching all the way into 2029 or even 2032. A lot of Windows 10 users see those dates and think, <gasps> perfect, I'll just switch to LTSC and I'm safe until 2031. No, nope. that's not exactly how it works. Mm -hmm. LTSC isn't a magic extension of regular Windows 10. It's a special build with strict licensing, missing features, and a servicing model designed for very specific use cases like ATMs, kiosks, and medical devices, not for everyday desktops. Before you decide to move to Windows 10 LTSC, thinking it will solve your end of life worries, you need to know what you're actually getting into. So let's jump into the 10 things you need to know before switching to Windows 10 LTSC. Number 10, it's not designed for home users. On Microsoft's own site, LTSC is described as a long-term servicing option for specialized devices, medical imaging systems, industrial process controllers, kiosks, and embedded systems. These are computers that are expected to stay frozen for years, often running one critical app. That's why the OS is stripped down if you're picturing your family PC, your gaming rig, or even your small business workstation. That's not the intended audience. For home use, you're on your own for support, drivers, and compatibility. Number nine, no feature updates. LTSC editions receive only security and quality updates for 10 years. That means no new start menu redesigns, no new edge capabilities, no big Windows 10 feature drops, no direct storage, and no subsystem for Android like Windows 11. If you're thinking, I'll stay on LTSC and still get new features, you won't. This is stability at the cost of innovation. Microsoft even warns in their FAQ that new hardware support and new features will not be backported to LTSC. A real-world example, the 2019 LTSC build is essentially Windows 10 1809 frozen in time. It still has the old edge, no newer sandbox features, no security baselines from later builds. Number eight, missing Microsoft Store and built-in apps. LTSC deliberately removes most modern apps. Microsoft Store, Cortana, Photos, Mail, Calendar, even Sticky Notes. If you rely on these, they're gone. You'll have to sideload software manually or use classic Win32 installers. This is by design because LTSC targets locked down machines running one app. This is a huge shift for home users who expect out of the box functionality. Number seven, licensing restrictions. LTSC isn't something you can buy at Best Buy. It's sold through volume licensing to organizations or as part of a Visual Studio MSDN subscription for IT pros. If you see cheap LTSC keys on auction sites or shady resellers, they're either unauthorized or outright stolen. Microsoft has actually taken legal action against sellers misusing enterprise keys. This matters because you can be deactivated at any time if the key is flagged. Number six, upgrade path is tricky. You can't just click upgrade to go to the next LTSC or to a feature channel build. Microsoft's docs state you usually have to perform a full reinstall. That means wiping your machine, reinstalling programs, and restoring data. Imagine you've been on 2019 LTSC and want to move to 2021 LTSC. There is no next button. That's fine for an ATM, but a nightmare for a home user. Number five, hardware support lags behind because LTSC updates less frequently. Support for brand new CPUs, chipsets, TPM changes, or security features often arrives late. For example, 2019 LTSC lacks built-in support for newer Intel 12th gen hybrid CPUs and some AMD features. Microsoft explicitly says, 
LTSC builds are not intended for new hardware platforms. This means if you buy a new laptop in 2025 and try to install an older LTSC build, you may run into missing drivers or even installation blocks. Before we crack the top four, if you want a powerful toolkit to deal with Windows issues the right way, check out the Ultimate USB version 2.1, packed with ethical hacking and recovery tools to keep you ahead. Number four, 10 years of support only means security fixes, not new features. Uh, this is the biggest misconception. People see supported until 2029 or supported until 2032 and think they're getting new capabilities every year. In reality, you're just getting security patches. No DirectX 12 Ultimate, no new virtualization security improvements, no new management policies. Microsoft uses the phrase no feature updates repeatedly in its lifecycle documentation. Number three, each LTSC release has a different end of life date. Windows 10 Enterprise LTSC 2019 is supported until January 9th, 2029. The 2021 LTSC version extends to January 12th, 2032. Knowing which one you have matters because your support window changes dramatically. If you're thinking LTSC lasts forever, it doesn't. Each release is like a snapshot. Number two, it's meant to be managed with enterprise tools like WSUS, SCCM, or Intune. If you're a home user without these management tools, keeping LTSC patched and compliant can be awkward. You can still use Windows Update, but you're missing the infrastructure it was designed for, centralized updates, group policies, deployment rings. This can lead to delays or missed updates if you're not careful. Number one, you may lose compatibility. Microsoft explicitly says, Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise, teams, and some OneDrive integration scenarios aren't supported on LTSC. Even some third-party software expects the regular Windows 10 feature channel and may not install or update properly on LTSC. For example, some game launchers and anti-cheat systems look for components only present in later feature builds. This can leave you stuck. So now you know. LTSC isn't a magic escape from Windows 10 end of support. It's a specialized addition for a specialized purpose. Make an informed choice and stay protected. Looking for a real alternative when Windows 10 support ends? Don't just guess. Test drive your next OS safely. With my ultimate USB version, 2.1, you can boot straight into multiple Linux environments and even a version of Windows 11. All live, no install, no commitment. Check out the link below to grab yours and start exploring your next operating system today. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit like and subscribe so you never miss my next tech breakdown.